South Korea's weekly average COVID-19 caseloads have been dropping. Authorities remain worried over the rising number of Omicron cases, though. In response, a new reagent used in PCR testing was developed and distributed across the country. It can check for all five major variants within just hours. Kim do has our top story. South Korea reported 5,037 new COVID-19 infections on Thursday, down around 400 from the day before. However, the number of critically ill patients continues to remain high at 1,145. The country also reported 67 new Omicron cases, bringing the tally so far to 625. 41 of the new cases were imported, while 26 were locally confirmed. Just as the number of confirmed local Omicron cases starts to rise, a new locally developed reagent that can test for Omicron has been distributed across the country. This is the Seoul Research Institute of Public Health and Environment, one of 23 places around the country that can now directly test for Omicron. Before, samples had to be sent to a specific government lab for genetic sequencing, which could take up to five days. But with the new method used here, it only takes three or four hours. The reagent will be used in PCR tests from COVID-19 positive samples for further analyses. As of now, all imported cases that can be checked for variants are tested to see if it's a variant. And as for the local cases, it's at the district office's discretion. But usually, a sample is chosen from an unclassified cluster infection. This will make it an average between 10 percent to 20 percent of all cases being checked. The new reagent checks for all five major variant types as well, including the Delta strain. According to the South Korean government, this is the first reagent to be able to do so. With this new available technology, the country is expected to see a surge in confirmed Omicron cases in the coming days. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.